Thanks for joining us for WFF 40 News at 10. If you were under the impression you could keep your current insurance plan under the Affordable Care Act, you may be in for a rude awakening. Those not insured by their employer will have to pick a new plan by the end of the year. Blue Cross Blue Shield says most current plans don't meet the Affordable Care Act requirements. WFF 48's Sarah Navoy has the details. Plan you're currently enrolled in must end after December 31st, 2013. It was a piece of mail worse than any bill. Dad of six and small business owner Jeremy Nichols was shocked by a letter from Blue Cross Blue Shield. It warned his current insurance plan would be canceled and suggested another one at a much higher cost. Which will increase my rate from $463 to $1,212.47. It's a nearly 300% increase for the same amount of coverage. No idea what to think. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a bit. Why? All to meet new Affordable Care Act requirements. The vast majority of our individual products are non-ACA compliant. CEO and President of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama, Terry Kellogg, suggests shopping around for the best rate. However, Nichols says there aren't many options. United Healthcare told me they are not participating in the Affordable Care Act in Alabama. That leaves you Blue Cross Blue Shield and Humana to choose from. But we're definitely stuck, and I think they know that. I mean, there's, they have no reason to lower rates because we have to get it from somewhere. If you choose not to, expect to pay a fee close to $100 a person or 1% of your salary, whichever is higher. That goes up each year and will be close to $700 a person by 2016. Not to mention, you pay full price at the doctor. Nichols knows insurance is a must, but says in his opinion, the Affordable Care Act is not living up to its name. I know most of the large families, it's going to be a very difficult thing for them to afford. Sarah Navoy, WEFF 48 News. Uh, Terry Kellogg says people with larger families will definitely be paying more. Under the Affordable Care Act, the rate goes up per person.